some journalists who write about you and talk about you, let me run through it, ABC's Martha Raddatz, unprofessional and biased, you say, NBC's Chuck Todd, a real loser, National Review's Jonah Goldberg, dumb as a rock, columnist George Will, a total dope, Fox's Charles Krauthammer, a totally overrated clown. I don't think you really believe that. I think that they criticize you and your instinct you're like a boxer is to punch back well I do punch back I believe in punching back but you know those are people that I didn't think have treated me fairly uh, a while ago they said he's never gonna run he's never gonna run then I ran then he said oh he'll never file his papers and I filed my papers now they don't know what to say and then all of a sudden I get these really big poll numbers and they're really good uh, although I think they're gonna go higher because I really think people agree with what I'm saying at the border and, and just agree with me, period. So Is there a payoff for you in higher. picking fights with the not-so-popular media? No, it's not a payoff. Look, I like people that treat me well. I don't have to be treated perfectly, and, and I just want to be treated fairly. Uh, they were unfair. They don't call me. They don't uh, mention anything. Martha Raddatz was acting like, oh, this must be a mistake. It must be a mistake. You know, I built a massive company. I've had number one bestsellers. I've had The Art of the Deal, which is just about the biggest business book of all time. I had tremendous success on television with The Apprentice. I went to the Wharton School of Finance, and I was a really good student, and it's one of the hardest schools in the world to get into. And then they treat it like, you know, like... What's, why is he here? Speaking and, of The Apprentice, 